What's up guys? I'm here in my very squeaky chair today to talk about pressure washing marketing strategies. So if you have a pressure washing business or you're thinking of starting one or whatnot and you need jobs, customers, clients, as every single business does, this video is for you. So today we're going to talk about, you know, the long-term and short-term strategies of marketing and how to get clients for your business. So if you have a business already, you're, you probably already have a website and, and um, you're running ads of some sort, like that's great. If you're, if you're just kind of just starting out, like here's gonna be some tips and such. And um, so my main, my main pieces of advice really are, you need to have a way to get customers like right now. You need to have a advertising strategy that brings you customers directly. Um, whether this is Facebook ads, Craigslist, Thumbtack, Yelp, you need to be able to pay money to get customers. If you can't pay money to get more customers, you don't have a business. Um, so even if it's door to door or some sort of um, organic method, you need to be able to bring customers in right now. So this is the tip of the spear. For me, it's Facebook ads. That's how I bring in 99% of all, all my customers is Facebook ads. You can use you know Google ads or, or whatever else you, we talked about for ads, but um, you need to have some sort of tip of the spear where you're getting customers brought in. Next, you wanna focus later on like the organic long-term like websites, website traffic and such and the organic leads that come in from Google. So you're going to want to set up your Google My Business, but not before you, um, you, you're getting customers from, from Facebook or wherever. So I would say in your first you know, month or so, you need to be having consistent revenue, consistent customers brought in. And then once you're ready, then immediately start putting your website together. If you don't have a website yet, you can easily build one on WordPress. Just Google you know, how to build a website and you can easily build one for your service business or whatever type of business you do. And it's, it's really simple. So you, you're going to want to go to Google My Business then. And this is where you can set up your listing and get on Google Maps and all this sort of search area stuff. So this is when people go into your area, you know, they type pressure washer near me or gutter cleaning near me, your name and your business is gonna pop up. And this is this is huge, but it's also like, this is a long-term strategy. So I, I see so many people worrying too much about SEO and their website and such. And it's really not that important because it's not bringing revenue in right away. Um, not that it's not a good strategy, it's like, you want to focus on the fast, the quicker gains before you focus on the long, long-term gains. You know what I mean? You need to bring revenue in and then that's when you want to set up the other things in your business. Don't worry about the long-term stuff if you don't even have the short-term stuff figured out, you know? So with that being said, just, you know, set up Facebook ads. They're goldman right now. Um, I have a ton of other videos linking to um, whatever, a ton of other, other videos. So you should just totally subscribe and I'll be sharing content like this a lot more often now. So even TikTok as well. But so yeah, you want to set up your Facebook ads and then you want to set up your website. But so don't do it. Don't mix, mix it up. You also want to make sure you know what your website is going to be about. And you know, even if you like your business, if you're just starting out. So that those are my two strategies. The biggest one, obviously Facebook. The next one is Google My Business. So the quicker you get on this right now, the quicker, you know, right now it's, it's the cheapest and easiest it's ever going to be it's only going to get more difficult every day that goes by that you get on the web or start running ads like it's never going to be cheaper than today like obviously it was cheaper five years ago but you know like the the chinese proverb you know the best time to, to plant a tree was 20 years ago the second best time is now so this is your sign to get out there start marketing start advertising and you're going to kill it have a good time